Hell, Yamakoto and Fatura of Human Rights defender Nasta Loika, who was sentenced by the de facto authorities of Belarus to seven years in prison solely for her professional activity. Nasta has been behind bars for a year. I'm really looking forward to Nasta replacing me in the studio. Until then, let's go. On October 3, an appeal hearing on the unfair sentence of a human rights defender Nasta Loika was held, but the court left the verdict unchanged. Mass repressions against those who disagree with the regime have been going on in Belarus for three years already. The laws do not work. On the 12th of the Akinle against the verdict, Nasta asked for support for her dog Eric, whom she cannot take care of while in prison. Thanks to everyone who sent donations and shared the video. New decree now. 278 on the procedure for issuing documents and conducting actions. A total of 18 administrative procedures can be performed only in person or by powers of attorney issued in Belarus. Our colleagues from the Bielatsky Helsinki Committee tell you what international human aid obligations and constitutional guarantees it violate in relation to the citizens of Belarus. Discrimination as a separate offense. Violation of the right to free movement. Violation of the right to marry. Violation of the right to non-interference in private and family life. Potential violation of a child's right to register and obtain citizenship. Violation of the right to property. Legal Hub's free legal advice service lawyers talk about the innovations from a legal perspective. Look for an analysis of the decree in a separate article linked below this video. The United Nations Special Rapport on the Rights of Migrants visited Belarus to assess the, you know, to assess the human rights situation of migrants at the border between Belarus and Poland and wrote a final report. It contains general information about the humanitarian crisis at the border. At the same time, the final report does not fully reflect the scale of the humanitarian crisis at the border between Belarus and the European Union and the depth of the political and social crisis in Belarus itself. In September, Belarus suspended the agreement with Ukraine on the protection of migrants. It regulated the property rights of migrants and members of their families and greatly simplified the process of their resettlement. Belarus justified this decision by Ukraine's unfriendly actions, which manifested themselves in the closure of its borders with Belarus, as well as Ukraine's unilateral withdrawal from a number of interagency and intergovernmental agreements. To date, the world of professional sport is changing rapidly. This is influenced by ongoing socio-political events, changes in the approach governance by international sports organizations, and a strong demand for changes in working conditions from professional athletes. In the analytics for April June 2023, you can find an analysis of the most significant events in sport through the lens of international uh, human rights and sports standards. Link to the analytics in the video description. Imen Constanta has released a new season of podcast. Together with our heroes, we remember Nasta's activities in the field of human rights defending, as well as just curious stories from life. You can listen to the podcasts at the link below this video. Thank you for spending this time with me. We always look forward to your actions. Likes, comments, suggestions and criticism. See you next month.